Now, here are two of the lovely villains whom you see every Friday night at 9 o'clock on the NBC network. Uh, we have um, the alien Lita herself, Lydia, played by uh, June Chadwick, and the half-alien, half-human with the strange mystic powers. Her name is Elizabeth in the series. She's played by Jennifer Cook. So here, June Chadwick and Jennifer Cook. Well, nice to have you here. Why? Actually, there are three villainesses, aren't there? Mm-hmm. Jane? Jane Badler. Badler. Where is yeah. Jane today? <laughs> Where is Jane when we need her here today? Her. Oh, couldn't, she couldn't make, make it. Her <laughs> Don't lay it off we'll on me. will never forgive she you. Couldn't she couldn't make it, take huh? the face. Well, actually, what is it like when there are at least three lovely ladies uh, working on a set every day? Is there a... Uh, are there any jealousies? Do you all get along Fight fine? Fighting for hairspray. Yes. <laughs> Fighting for hairspray, is that it? I don't think so. When I first, um, because I wasn't in the miniseries, and when I first saw it and saw Jane on it, I thought, oh, God, <laughs> what am I going to have to walk into every day? And uh, when I met why, her... Why did you say that? <laughs> She, she's so sort of menacing on screen, uh -huh, and as a person, is. she's delightful, she's mm. really sweet, and we became good friends, and that was a, a relief, relief to sure. me. Yeah. I suppose you're always worried about who else is in the cast of anything you work on, mm, right? Sure. I, uh, when I first came on the show, uh, I had a mother on the show, which she's now gone, but um, she's my age. So that was very strange, to act with a woman and call her mother and have a mother-daughter relationship when Didn't woman somebody is... at the network see that she were, you were both <laughs> the same age and it might be a little difficult for Actually, you to call her mother? Actually, I came out of uh, a cocoon. I went in as a child and came out as that's a... That's right. You're half alien, half human, of <laughs> yes. course. You know, the question that's asked so much of me is, you know, how do you get into show business? How do you get to Hollywood? And how do you get that series? And how did that happen to you? Well, I started when I was um, nine years old. My mother m wanted me to be a concert pianist, so uh, I was at a piano recital. I used to go to quite a few, and there was a manager for television commercials there, and uh, she thought that I would be a good uh, commercial actress, uh -huh. and I decided that I'd try it and went from there. And you started in commercials then at, uh, at nine years of age? Yes. Yeah. And then when did you leave commercials and start acting? Right for real. Mm -hmm. um, well, I would say the, the, the thing that really made me decide that I was an actress, indeed, was when I got uh, Guiding Light, a soap based here in New mm -hmm. York, and I did that for two years. But you must have done that in your teens. Yes, I was uh, barely 17. And then how into Z? V. The V, I'm sorry. <laughs> A little crazy. I didn't eat. My lunch is in the cab. Forget about it. We'll get you one. <laughs> um, I came out to Los Angeles to screen test for Hollywood Wives, uh, Aaron Spelling. Oh, yeah. The series. And um, NBC found out through the grapevine that I was in town, and they had been looking for an Elizabeth for a long time. And this was on a Thursday, and uh, they started sh filming on, a, on the following Tuesday. So they were completely stuck. And um, I went in and, and read for it, and they said, you've got the part if you can lose 15 pounds. So I did, and I got the part. No and kidding. And are you at the weight now that uh, is minus 15 pounds? Sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> 15 pounds is a lot of weight to yeah. lose. Were you, uh, did you realize that you were overweight? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, spread those mystic powers on me. Sure. Now, what about uh, you? Well, um, I started out as a singer. My mother wanted me to be Julie Andrews, so everything was happy for a while. Um, and I did a lot of commercials in England and a mixture of film, theatre, television. And I was getting all okay. When I came out here, I had to start over. I think um, I got handed ten scripts within the first week that I arrived, and I thought, hey, this is Hollywood, yeah, I arrived. Wow. And none of them came off. Um, oh. So I, it was probably about a year and a half before I managed to get yep. a feature film. And mm -hmm. from then onwards, things have been easier. Now, we see you with a lot of uh, ma uh, makeup on, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of sparkles and things <laughs> like that. How long does that take for you to every day? Um, the sparkles, I had uh, a lot of makeup on this week's, last week's show when I was doing a fight scene. And that must have taken probably two and a half hours, including hair, mm -hmm. to do. Normally it takes about an hour and a half. Mm. 
It's a long time sitting in that chair, yeah. isn't it? And then get out and act. <laughs> well, you're both delightful. I, neither one of you are married? No. no. Did you see Rex Smith here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're playing it so casual now. They were swarming all over poor Rex. Street hawk. <laughs> Could hardly, you know, get out of here with his life. Well, I thank you very much for coming by. Thank and you. And we look forward to seeing you every Friday night on NBC, okay? Hey. June, good to thank see you. you. Jennifer, thanks very thank much, you, okay? Richard. Take care of yourself and keep that weight off, will you? <laughs> and we're going to get right back with an update on age in just a moment with Dr. Matilda Trim. Please stay with us.